now it's time to create the, our database. Before going to create the database, we have to create a couple of other things. Like first, we have to create the public and private key. Because in the cloud, when you are ever going to access from the, your own premises, you need the public and private key combination. And for that, there's a various way to do that. And we'll guide you here how to do it. So there's a lots of way to use the cloud. And as per the convenience, you can choose the specific module as you need. The first thing, if you are accessing directly from the Oracle cloud portal, you don't need that even the public and private key. But as a DBA, we always prefer to use from the command line, not from the portal. That's the one thing. Second thing, every option is not available on the portal. Then what the alternate way? So Oracle has given you the one feature called cell, which is called Oracle Cloud Cell. So Oracle Cloud Cell machine you can create the one small VM or it's a one type of a small VM you can say if you have already configured in your environment it's okay you can use it otherwise you can start and then cloud cell mas machine the base cell you are able to connect to the OCA console so let me guide you how to do that so not taking the much time onto this. So here you can see the first option, which is called my cloud cell. If you will click onto this cloud cell, the first time it will take couple of minutes for configuration. That it. Since you have not used, you can clearly see, since you have not used cloud cell recently, it will take some additional time to archive your home directory. Got it. So this is the first thing which you have to keep into your mind whenever you are using the cloud cell. Of course, since it is a creating the cloud cell, meanwhile, we can focus on to the some theory part onto this. And what we were talking since the cloud cell is going to configure, the cloud cells is a pre-authenticated OCI command line interface. Why I said the pre-authenticated? because here we are using the Oracle cloud environment itself. So you can set the console tenancy home page region and then you can able to use it like I have guided you here. So this is the way you can create the and log into the cloud cell. Got it. Now you can see I'm connected with the, my Rajiv Jha. So that is saying and where I am onto the USS barn. This is the, my region. If you can see here the region, I'm using the USS Warren region. So it is available onto that. You can choose the cloud cell based onto your business need. I'm not saying that this is the only way. Of course, there's alternate way as well. I will guide you onto that. So here you can see I am connected with the, my machine with the cloud cell. I hope till yet everyone is clear. Okay. Now, this is the one way from there, you are able to connect to the your cloud cell. And here you are able to, once the cloud cell is started, everyone please do it on your environment. You are able to do the, make the directory over there. Got it. So you can able to do the make directory SSH. Let me paste, so it will save my time. I have created a directory or alternate vector ways that we can do it. And then let me go to the my this directory. So cd.sss I can do and I am able to go to this directory. If you can see here, it's just a, a small Linux box given by the Oracle. Got it or you can say in the your premises what we are using 
the our jump box so it's like a similar to the jump box from there you are connecting to the cloud machine so that's way we are able to do it so you have started your cloud cells you have connected and you have created a directory as well now we need to generate the key got it so for generating the key we have to use ssh key gen ssh key gen which is going to help us to generate the key okay so whenever we need to the cloud and other environment then we have to use like that type of thing so i can put the ssh key gen and then we are able to do it so to save my time i'm just going to use the my key name whichever the key name you want you can use the your key name and then you are able to do it okay so let me go and generate the key onto this cloud so what i am going to do here i am just and giving the my key name like dbt so dbt training and the key now i have already started so let me close it as well and what it will do it will generate the key okay so this way you are able to generate your key let me remove this it's not required here okay so generating the private key it is asking the pass phrase what do you mean by the pass phrase here you can see here the pass phrase means do you want some top up like a some more key so if you want you can give it otherwise you can put into no so i don't want to use it so i can skip this and i can proceed for the further okay so let me enter key and then i go so you can see here it is generated a key and if i can go here now the ls command so you are able to see the public key and private key generated got it now you can see we have a public key as well as we have a private key this key you required while you are connecting to the your infrastructure or your database or virtual machine whichever you are going to access from your machine to that so that's the one way you are able to generate the key okay now my key is created and here two file is generated if you notice one is the private key and another is the public key so if you can see the private key don't have the any extension and the public key has the extension called pub you can put any extension as per the like the pbt or whatever the name you want so the private key the safe and does not share it content with anyone so make sure never share your private key with anyone yes yeah so what we do when we have multiple people are working in the team for the particular project then we are putting into the private key onto the some common location and from there or share location people can use but what is the use of the public key so public key will be needed for the whatever the activity you are keeping onto the cloud so for uploading to the certain databases or maybe the virtual machine or whatever the facility you are going to use on oracle cloud for secure communication you need a key okay and if you want to see the key what are the information is kept over there so you can use the cat command okay or the vi editor you can open but i never recommend to use the vi editor because the vi editor quite possible if you will insert or change anything then the key value will be changed so this is the my key you can see so this type of key is generated i hope it is clear to everyone if not please let me know you can ask your question
okay so that's where you are able to do okay that's about into the cloud module what about the key generation onto the other machine like suppose i am working on the windows or i am working on to the linux or for the mac os so everyone we have a options to similar way you can generate i am not going to guide you each and every things but yes i can guide you the some key generation for other os as well the windows and the linux is it okay because the virtual machine which you are going to access on the cloud either you are accessing from the your laptop or desktop which is assigned to you in the training that or you are going to use the oracle linux box am i correct so i will guide you the both got it so this is basically how to generate sss key okay so this is for the oracle cloud now let's come to the oracle linux and over there we will try to create so this is the virtual machine which is assigned to you for training and here i am going to create it 